Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome to today's stream. So, for those of you who have been watching the YouTube channel for a while, you know, you guys know I played this game pretty extensively when it first came out on Early Access, but now, now we have the actual final release, and I have been curious to see what's changed, because I have not played this game, honestly, since... About a month or two after the early access release so from what i understand a whole lot of shit's changed so let's see what changed we're gonna go single player for now civilized we are not gonna play civilized uh, play conan as a civilized game what the hell this is your first survival game and you want to explore different now decadent let's go with normal and also, just in case they didn't change it, I'm going to go ahead and look in the settings real quick. Because one of the things that I remember about this game originally was the... There was a fair amount of um, nudity. There we go. We're going to turn that off. Mainly because, you know, I actually want to be able to post this on YouTube without censoring the whole thing when I'm done with the stream. So... Single player co-op, decadent, play, buildings do not become abandoned over time, okay. There was other shit there apparently, but I didn't see it. Also don't eat the yellow snow, that's always good advice. And yeah, depending on how well you guys like this series, how much more you want me to play either on Twitch or YouTube, if you guys have this game or are interested in getting, in, getting this game, we are, I can definitely arrange for you know, a whole, you know, for us to play together in this game if you guys would like. So, yeah. Do an invite to a co-op server or some shit. Have to see how it goes. You know, provided the game actually loads and lets us do something. Which I am not at all certain it's going to. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows at this point? Hey, it changed. Removing the bracelet from your wrist will kill you. I remember that. And here we are. Sure. All right, let's go to the race. Hyrcanian, Kitan, Kushite, Nordheimer. Now, what was the race I played? God damn, there's a lot more than there were when I first played it. Sumerian, Stygians. Wasn't there a race that was... Hmm. It was kind of Roman-like. I don't remember what the hell they were called, though. Ah, well. We'll go through and look at the rest of these. Very little known the Black Kingdoms. Nordheimer picked... Shemite, Darfari, Vindian, Zamorian, Zingaran. Heh. Maybe it has changed. Um. Who rule the kingdoms north of Samaria? Let's go with the Nordheimer, I guess. Because, yeah, it's really weird. That other one's gone. Hmm. It's a shame. Ah. Do I remember giant squids? I do not. And as for that, uh, Steve Harris, um, it is a survival RPG game with a lot of building elements. Like, you could build, you know, you do have RPG elements as your character levels up, and then you got, like, an element of, like, crafting games where you can actually build a fortress, craft your own weapons... You know, so you got to go out and collect the supplies to do that shit, level up your crafting abilities. Uh, you can pick up other individuals in the game, like basically capture them and break them so they basically become your followers, at which point you can assign them to do work on your, you know, on your fortress, in your fortress, either as guarding your fortress, doing your blacksmithing for you, whatever. So, yeah. And it has... Fairly decent, from what I remember. Like, I think it's 40 players on a, on the online servers, plus there's co-op, 
which is why I was saying if anybody has this game and wants to get in on it, let me know, and we can do some co-op on the streams or whatever. But, yeah, uh, like I said, I haven't played the game in a very long time, so I'm not entirely sure how much has changed since then. Uh, healing, poisons and antidotes. Tentacled Horror is the avatar. So I think we got our giant squid there. Specialization is fresh flesh preparation and cannibalism. Okay. Ice and cold and a frost giant. I like the frost giant. The two-faced goddess and fertility and death. No, no specialization, nothing. This is Krom. It is useless to call upon him as he is a gloomy savage god who hates weaklings. He is more likely to send forth dooms and deaths from his great mountain. He offers no advantage or avatar to call upon. Huh. Bronze statue giant. I'm going to go with the frost giant. I kind of like the idea of that. Ymir is the lord of war and storms. Morning, Hollow. Frost giants are said to be the male children of Ymir, and his singular daughter, Atali, is said to haunt the battlefields of men, luring them to their death in the frozen wastes of the north. According to the Nordheimers, when a warrior falls in battle, they go to Valhalla the great feasting hall of Ymir to feast and fight forever. When invoked, Ymir takes the form of a frost giant, wielding an enormous axe and leaving a trail of frost in his wake. We'll do that. Death is coming. Cut me down, please. Death <laughs> is coming. Cut me down, please. I guess we'll go with learned. Um... I mean, you're not going to be that pale after having been nailed to a cross in the middle of a desert, so... I think maybe go a little bit of a tan. <laughs> I really hope I can change... Okay, cool, I can change... About to say, I really hope I can change the... Um... Is there anyone that... Okay, I'll go with the main with that one. Yeah, I really need to change that haircut. There is no fucking way in hell. I was going to be having my character run around looking like with that. No way in hell. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I see. Sure, let's go with the weird-ass mohawk. <laughs> I have to have the skullet? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that's accurate. <laughs> Holy shit, that is ridiculous looking. <laughs> what the fuck you know what we'll go with the skullet why not <laughs> eyebrows does it does it matter sure bushy as hell I guess facial hair <laughs> I like how none of these beards like the hair texture matches his actual hair like there's like it doesn't look like it's growing out of the same body at all sure <laughs> eyeshadow They don't. I looked through. We don't have a unibrow. <laughs> the giant bush beard? There we go. We are about to go into the wastes of this world as the ugliest motherfucker we have ever seen. And I'm okay with that. We can give him eyeshadow, apparently. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is an odd individual. <laughs> I don't think we committed any crimes to get crucified. I think general appearance is why we got nailed up here. I am not going to mess with any of this. I've never messed with all of the... <laughs> 
face proportions. <laughs> no, I am not clicking on any of these. I'll mess with physique, but... <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things that I remember this game having a lot of... Um... <laughs> yeah, I remember this game... A lot of people were talking about when it came out in early access that when you were creating your character, you had a breast size meter and a dick size slider. Which is why we have nudity set to none. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, in the middle. He's not going to be all ripped and shit after having been nailed to the cross. <laughs> Howard Von Karstein. <laughs> Red-headed movie or Howard Von Karstein. <laughs> huh. We're going to finalize the character because I am not taking the nudity slider off. Because, yeah, that, that loincloth goes away if I do that, and nobody wants that. So, finalize character. Here hangs Arathas. No, thank you. I will not have my name associated with that set up. Wow, this shit is actually screwed into our flesh. <laughs> Alright guys, go ahead and vote for Howard Von Karstein, a drummer in a failed rock band. Must have been a hell of a failure to get nailed up here. There, any... There we go. I don't think I'm going to do a whole Von Karstein thing, but yeah, here hangs Howard. I like Howard. <laughs> uh, condemned to death in exile for crimes including cheating at dice, strangling a moneylender, and spreading malicious rumors. <laughs> I see... Can I mess with any of the other shit? Because that'd be kind of funny. Howard the Schmuck. You know what? That fits. That's my image. Howard the Schmuck. After all the shit he has done. And his fashion sense. Let's join. Let's send Howard the Schmuck into the wastes. See, he's even got the eyeshadow. During the year of the Cobra. A prisoner captured from his rock band means was transported into the exiled lands. His hair metal crucified band and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings until fate intervenes. <laughs> I an <in> aggravated mopery. <laughs> I remember nothing about how to play this game. At all. I know it's a crafting and a survival game and I don't remember anything else. <laughs> yeah, except here comes the man. Himself. Are you thirsty, dead man? Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It almost looked like he my glanced good. at my crotch. You civilized men are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. Conan. So, you live again, dead man. This land does not love men. You are marked, and you cannot cross. 
across the ghost fence wearing that. What the fuck is a ghost fence? <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Feel like being cryptic much? What the hell, dude? Also, live, you have a hairy ass spine. Love. Burn with life. Slay and survive. We will meet again, dead man. Uh, if you're gonna go into that sandstorm, I doubt it. I'm sure as hell not going that way. Okay, I have no choice. But I agree with all of you, that is a hell of a loincloth. Yes, that is Conan. And that is the man himself. And I don't know if you ever actually do run into him again. I never did. Okay. I think I'll go into first person for now. The Broken Highway. Okay. I do not like that noise, whatever the hell it was. That did not sound like just natural, normal wildlife. Uh, do we follow the highway? I assume. Do I just collect shit? I know, he doesn't seem like my- he doesn't seem like Conan. <laughs> Then again, I'm pretty sure they're going off the... <laughs> pretty sure they're going off the books. Which... I... I guess. I've never read any of the books. I know there's a lot of them. That's just a... Shot in the dark. For all I know... Yeah, no. They... They just make up their own everything for this. And just you tacked Conan onto it. I have no idea. Apparently, we are picking shit up off the ground. Yeah, you know, plant fiber's nice and all, but... Oh, we got a handful of insects. <laughs> and rocks. We need those rocks. <laughs> but let's be honest. Everybody would have loved this game if it had opened up and he'd had the... Austrian accent. <laughs> I would have been sold even more. Like, I like survival games. Uh, I don't play a lot of them, but I do like them. I'm just kind of... For the most part, I'm kind of picky about them. I don't like... I need to have an interesting setting for um, survival games, not just, hey, you're on an island in the middle of the ocean type thing. So, that's why I kind of jumped on this one when it came out. But, yeah, no, I would have been more sold on it if... Yeah, big, giant, two-handed sword. Yeah. Thick-ass Austrian accent. Yeah, oh, yeah. What the hell? Um, I don't have a weapon, so it's probably a bad idea. Hi. No. Okay. Be gone. I'll just come over here and see what you were chewing on. Uh, yes, I have played a bit of Stranded Deep. Way, way back. Wait, I can't loot this dude's corpse? I'd like his armor. You don't need it anymore. Apparently not. God Appar curse this sandstorm. Apparently, I can look in the book. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. Apparently, Howard There's can read. There's something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. 
I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire. Or the bite of the axe. Well, where the hell's your axe? I could use that. But yeah, sorry, uh, back to answer your question, Necron Lord. I did play Stranded Deep when it was in early access. I don't know if it's even fully released yet. I kind of lost interest fairly quickly. Uh, the only other survival game I currently have on my radar to play... I have two, actually. Um... The only two I have on my radar to play is um, Subnautica. I've been looking forward to that one for a while. And there's another one. God, what was the name of it? It's also currently in, in um, early access. Uh, Fade to Silence. This weird Cthulhu survival horror thing. And I agree, this does look like Montfort, especially after we got done with it. <laughs> so I assume if this is like the early access version, I can get through this somehow. I have seen people play that, but I've not played it myself, no. The Long Dark, isn't that the one that takes place in, like, you know, middle of the freaking nowhere Canada? And by that, I don't mean, you know, yeah, that's just, like, way the far up north. I've heard good things about it, but I've not, I've not played it. I've heard good things, and, and I've seen people play it. But I've not um, actually played it. I'm trying to remember who I watched play it. Um, Mathis. I watched Mathis play it. Huh. I'll have to give it a shot. Because I do like... Like, that was one of the things I kind of didn't like about Conan Exiles at first was... I don't know. I'm not a fan of desert terrain. And, you know, ones where there's a lot of trees and snow and ice and rain and shit like that. I'm, I love those settings. And from what I understand, this one got, this one added that. Like, there's a snowy biome and all that shit. So apparently we need to eat. Who'd have thought? Oh, I can eat my insects. Lovely. Yep, filling up that f food meter. Uh, the long dark has a pretty steep learning curve. I can see that. So, yeah. Yeah, honestly, the next one I'm probably going to play, since it's actually out, is Subnautica. In terms of survival games. Ah, whoa. I remember this. You guys are going to try to kill me if I go anywhere near your camp. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a turtle thing. Is there any way to craft shit? Like, can I get a weapon, please? Or clothing? Sure. No, don't craft ten. Don't craft ten. Craft one. And then craft one of those. Okay, we gained a level just for doing that, apparently. Stone hatchet. Sure. And a stone pick. And I heard something. Oh, that is some big-ass shit over the new. Nope, nope, nope. Gonna come up this hill a little bit, because apparently I can craft and make clothing while walking. It's a hell of a skill. Ah... That is true. The people I saw playing that... Um, oh, he automatically puts it on. That's nice. The people I saw playing... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, the people I saw playing 
yeah, you didn't you didn't seem like you made your own base and they seemed to know where there was a lot of like gear and shit laying around. Like they didn't seem to have a problem finding anything that they needed. Yep, sure. I'll take the stones. I will take the plant fiber. I'm going to take a drink from this water and probably get eaten by a crocodile. That just seems like the type of game this is. Well, I remember those turtles. If you fuck with the little ones, there are much, much, much bigger ones. I can actually show one to you. I saw him in the distance. Where is he? They're not super aggressive, but they can be dicks. All right. Ooh, nice statue. I Oh, dude's attacking me. Motherfucker. All right, fine. I got an axe. What you doing? Hmm? Where are you coming from? From nowhere, apparently. He fucked off. What you doing, dude? Yeah, one of the... There it is. See the size of that fucking turtle thing? <laughs> ah, let's see. We're going to try to find a place to go. Be they killed a the turtle thing. Probably means I can't fuck with them, but sure. I like how our... I'm going to loot it. He already looted it. Okay. Well, I heard a loud growling thing. Hey, dude. Pee on him? I don't know that I can do that. Hey, dude. Okay. What the fuck? Nope. Fuck you. Okay, he's gonna fuck me up. Why did you put your axe away? Yep, no, he's better at this than I am. Yeah, no, he... He murdered me. <laughs> okay. I need better gear before I fuck with him. Cleanse corruption by watching an entertainer. I'm sorry? Yeah, dude, no. I'm not ready to fight you again. Let's go get my shit back. Can I get my shit back? Man, he just walking out into the desert like it's nothing after he murdered me. Okay, so apparently I have points to spend. How many? Five, okay. Uh, strength? What does survival do? You do not have to cook raw meat to avoid poisoning. I like the sound of that. Apparently, the stick. And we're going to put some, to, some into agility. And I'm going to have to recollect some shit. I'm not entirely sure where I died. Probably right over here. If that is, in fact, the dude who killed me. Who was just staring off into the sunset. Apparently he is... What the fuck was that? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure this is the area where I died. Well... Let's pick some shit up. I don't like the sound effects I'm hearing. <laughs> hey. Blame YouTube for that. For the PG-13. 
I'm gonna be trying to put this up on there. I don't need to. I don't need to catch their shit for that. <laughs> also, I kind of don't want to stare at, you know, the exile's swinging dick for you know, the majority of the video. Just saying. Stop making these weird ass sounds. You are more than welcome to to do that. It's a silly thing, but hey. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> mm. Speaking of those rules, though, I do wonder, you know, considering I have not been doing Twitch very long, and I... <laughs> Yeah, I've not been doing Twitch very long. I wonder, with this game having come out today and a lot of people undoubtedly streaming it, and I know it was a very popular streaming game when it first came out in Early Access, how much of that nudity, you know, Twitch is okay with? All right, I guess we're going to have to craft clothing again. Yeah, I wonder if they're getting the same. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they're getting, you know, if they're similar, if the rules are similar to, say, YouTube on that. I imagine probably. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make a bedroll and an axe, and then we need to make us a house. A base from which to do some exploring. Not that way. See, look at those big fuckers. Alright. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to try to craft some stuff. Alright. I need my axe back, please. And this. And I know we need a lot of twine. Yeah, I really wouldn't be surprised if it's very limited to what Twitch will allow. So probably most people, at the very least, turned off the full nudity option and went to the um, partial. And those are probably the ones that were, you know... And that even that was probably a little risky. Okay, let's get some water. Nope. There's another camp over there. That's their camp. Okay. Let's take a look. It says to spend knowledge points. I thought I was doing that, but apparently not. We're going to do Apprentice Mason. Survive. Oh, shit. Okay. How many points do I need to get survival? Or do I... Oh, I already know that. Okay. Huh. I'll take a stone spear. Sure. Primitive cook. I'll take a campfire. I already know how to do that. Hmm. What do we think? Better... I can't spend... Oh, I do. I can get better armor in an armorer's bench, but I don't know that I can actually get that stuff here. I can learn how to make it. I already know how to make that altar. Okay, cool. Ooh, ice shard arrows. Okay, well, maybe we learn how to be an archer so we can hunt.
Well, actually, from what I understand with the whole assholes in chat, uh, to an extent, I guess, Twitch is wanting... Because I remember reading something about that a couple days ago. That Twitch is actually wanting the streamers to actually control their chat. Which seems a little odd. Hey, look at that. I'm actually getting a lot of stone out of this, so cool. Come on. We need some wood. You asshole, stay over there. Okay, so I'm nowhere near filling up my encumbrance. That's good. I kind of want to... Ooh, help. I kind of want to cross the river before I build a base, but I also need stone, and there's a lot of there's a lot more stone over here than there is over there. I want to be near the river, though. Oh no, no! When they say they want you to control the, don't worry about it in the slightest, uh, guys. Uh, I think when they're talking about the stuff in the chat, they're talking about, like, the the stuff that's already really against their, you know, it's like, basically threats and, you know, well, that, that was a bad idea. It was basically stuff like threats and, like, racist stuff. Stuff like that is what they, is what they expect the community to crack, like, the streamers to crack down on if they can, you know. You got no, none of you guys, you know, as far as I can tell, none of you guys chatting on here. Uh, this isn't any of your guys' first stream, and you guys with, uh, with me. And none of you guys have ever said anything that would even remotely cause an issue. So yeah, don't worry about it in the slightest, guys. All right. <laughs> Again, weird ass sounds. I kind of want to be near these camps, so I think maybe up on this rocky. Like up here. Good place to oversee shit. We're not far from the water, we have resources. What the hell are you? Oh, seriously, what the. No, 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 no. What? And he just disappears? <laughs> I mean, not with Twitch. Necron, you know, Necron Lord may not appreciate it. The fuck was that now? I do remember I could kill shit and eat it, but apparently I can't eat whatever that was. Yep, that's what we're trying to find. And apparently these weird-ass creatures over here have all the prime real estate. God damn. They are everywhere. Why, 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 why the ominous music? I do not appreciate that. Now, I like this spot. Now comes the fun part. I actually don't remember how to friggin' craft in the slightest. Dude. Dude. Don't you do it. Man. Okay. <laughs> Foundations is what we need. Wow. I can make two. All that stuff I collected, I can make two. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I guess we could try to kill this dude. Because I want this spot. Hey, hey, hey. No. Dude, I said, hey, no. Hey, hey. Huh. Magical disappearing corpses, I guess. Oh, I am picking up meat from them. Goody. Oh, I can break this down. Okay, apparently the rocks I can break are arbitrary. That that's about par for the course actually. Okay, give me the supplies. That dude needs to stay the hell over there. It's getting dark. We have a nice ramp right here to get down to the water. Right through the turtles. Maybe not. Okay, craft some more foundations. Three more. Seriously, that's all I got? Can I make a bed? No, I cannot. I need two, three of those little... Okay, I have enough of that. What am I missing? Do I not have the fiber anymore? I do have the fiber. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, that doesn't give me anything. Interesting. Well, let's take some wood. I think we're gonna go with like just a basic tiny house for now. So we're gonna go with nine found nine foundations. We need four more. Awesome. And I am out of rocks. Which is hilarious, because I'm standing on a cliff. See? I think I could do that. <laughs> I guess there's some tiny rocks over here. Good God. How about this? Huh? Getting there. Basically... Playing Minecraft with the opportunity for nudity is what we're doing right now. <laughs> well, apparently ice arrows will be my bazooka if I can ever build a shrine. What the hell was that? That dude is loud. Let's see. What? Okay, so this game is just trying to freak me the hell out, apparently. Because some of these sound effects are... Yo, holy shit. Be gone. Uh, like seriously. What the hell? What was that? Like, anybody else see these weird ass ghosts in the distance? Oh, hey. I can use this. Come on. Give me the foundations. There we go. We have six. Good God. Two more. I don't need those kind of neighbors. Like, at all. <laughs> exactly. Those demons can be gone. Although, to be fair, from what I remember, there are actual demons in it. I got iron. 
Okay. I think we're just about ready. Hey, we can build that, but we still can't build walls. Because we need a... <laughs> Damn it. Let's see. Oh, I need like 16 of those. Son of a bitch. It's going to get dark before I can have a... Any kind of... Are you... Can I repair that? I can. And I am completely vulnerable. Now what happens if I eat feral flesh raw? I got food poisoning is what happened. And hearing this weird chanting off in the distance and grumbling and all other kinds of weird ass noise is not exactly endearing me to this area. You know, one thing I haven't done is I haven't looked at the map that we convenient. Holy shit, this is a lot bigger than it used to be. I remember my favorite place to settle was like right here. Iron and all kinds of shit. <laughs> But good luck getting that far. <laughs> and that's what mo what's most important. Oh. Oh, no. You didn't see shit, guys. Just keep to yourselves. I'm gonna... Probably run into something very, very nasty that's going to eat me. Out of stamina. Okay. Hey, no. Piss off. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, I can drink water while swimming. <laughs> Apparently they don't like to swim. Or they know something I don't. Oh, another tribe. Well, this tribe won't mind if I settle on their doorstep, I hope. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal some natural resources. <laughs> I mean, we can. Okay, I'm gonna start setting down the... Um, We're going to settle right on the river. We're going to go with some waterfront property. Watch this be a spawning ground for crocodiles. Whoa! Hey! Can I help you? Yes, I know my stomach hurts. Thank you for sharing. I have no idea what's going on here. I can't even see this lady. Except, yeah, something's happening. <laughs> we need to get a, We need to put a wife beater on Howard, huh? Hey, we spawned right at our bedroll. That was the plan. Yep, I died. Damn it. Seriously, lady? Hey. Uh, can I have that? Damn, lady. Leave. Me. Be. <laughs> Fucking hell. I just tried to make a home. Son of a... <laughs> well, I guess now we know the problem with trying to build in the middle of the night when you can't see the neighbor. Son of a... Lady? 
This is getting ridiculous. Hey, hey. Leave me alone. Good God. She is unpleasant. Like, is my health gonna come back at any point, or...? That is a... That is a weird, weird... Weird look to my corpse. I mean, let's not, let's not even think about the fact that... Oh, shit. Let's just completely discount the fact that the lady apparently disappeared into thin air after she murdered me twice. This is going to be a very hostile territory for us. I'm sorry, is that my arm? Or... What the hell? My legs? Okay. Sure. Okay, let's craft a doorway. And a... Okay, apparently I can't craft a door. I need... What, twine? Alright, craft three twine. That's all I can craft. Now can I make a door? I can make a door. <laughs> And all these rules and regulations. I'm half expecting to hear about loading zones and stuff again. <laughs> Alright. Let's make some walls. I'm gonna put the door away. Facing away from all that nonsense. Apparently, that's all it takes to create a home. I think that campfire... Yeah. They're still there. Man. It takes a lot more resources than I expected to make our house. doesn't matter what world we go to, the bureaucracy follows. <laughs> Alright, I want a... I'll take two of these. I want three of these. And then a bunch more. Apparently I can make royal guard shit. Yeah, no, I, I imagine it won't take me long at all to get gauntlet lining. <laughs> hey, centaur, how's it going? You missed watching me get murdered multiple times just for the crime of trying to build a house. Apparently the neighbors are not friendly. Alright. I don't need any door, any walls. Uh, um, going towards the river. I don't need any windows, I should say. This area is relatively... The water is safer than the rest of the place, damn it. <laughs> Can't say I've never had that experience, Centaur, but... I mean, I can't... I, can, I imagine it's difficult work. Or at least strenuous. Yeah, no, you would have you probably would have found it highly entertaining watching me get butchered by this random lady 
me trying to build my house in the middle of the night and just having this random lady show up and murder me twice in a row. She was spawn camping me is what she was doing. What the hell just what? I'm sorry, what? I see. <laughs> That's one way to get into my house, I guess. Yeah, you also missed the us designing our character with his red bushy beard and his skullet. <laughs> we have decided to name him Howard. <laughs> it kind of looked like it, didn't it, Steve? <laughs> Man, I need more materials, but there's some assholes over here who will murder me on sight. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever in my life played a played or watched somebody play a survival game that didn't get janky as all hell at least some of the time yeah see there's one of my corpses yes yeah, so we can take a good long look at the at the skullet the red beard black hair eyeshadow <laughs> that would be an interesting stat to have, I guess. I mean, we'd have to make sure we don't get murdered first, but, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have enough to finish our house? Let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five more pieces. I'm pretty positive, yeah, I cannot make five more. Not enough stone. Alright, I guess we need to... I can eat my corpse. I mean, recycling, I guess? I'm... Jesus, we have a food... Oh, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get murdered. So I'm going to go that way to get my materials and then come back. Avoiding that dude's nest. Ah, oh, yeah, I was mentioning that earlier in the stream. If, you know, if there's enough interest in the game to keep it going and you guys want to join in on... And you want to join in on the stream and just do some multiplayer, you are more than welcome. Just let me know and we'll set it up. Because, yeah, you have the public servers that you can play online with up to 40 people, and then you have co-op. Like, single player and co-op where it's by invite only. And apparently everybody else is... And apparently everybody else is um, afraid to go in the water. So either they know something I don't, like, you know, there's big-ass crocodiles or some other eldritch horror in the water. Or, you know, you know they know it happens to be the local, you know, sewage waste disposal area. Something like that. I don't know. They just don't want to go into the fucking water. <laughs> so it's a good way to get away from them. 
honestly, I'm pretty sure the this, the answer to why they won't go in the water is crocodiles. Heh. Can we repair the pick, please? And then we'll repair the hammer, the axe. <laughs> Yeah, no, we have... Yeah, it just looks like I'm carrying around a bunch of... What do we say that is? Arms? Yeah. It did go up. Um, I wasn't aware how much it cost until I went to download it again after the after release. They had gone up to 40 bucks. It was 30 in early access. Yeah, by all means, let me know. I remember being a fan of it when I first played it on YouTube for, like, when it first came out on Early Access. But a lot's changed since then, and I don't know the half of it at this point. Alright, we need a couple more of these. Hey, cool. Then we have to buy some, we need, oh my god. I mean, I don't even need to open the door, apparently. I see. There we go. Got windows and everything. Now. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen I've seen videos of people summoning their avatars. That's really cool. You were able to do it in the Ooh, I can get a spear. You were able to do it in the uh, early access as well. I just never, just never did. Okay, let's remove all this. Desert berries that I did not actually get in the desert. Okay. So now we need roofing. More stone. Because of course... And the nice part is, if we, you know, if we get it, enough people playing co-op on here, when you play single-player co-op whatever, I haven't messed with it yet, but unless they changed it, I can change all kinds of settings uh, for the game, like making it so there's shorter respawn time on material, all that stuff. You know, that way, if we want to, we could reduce the grind a little bit, or keep the grind as it is, because... Multiple players would make it a lot easier. I do like the idea of intro... Oh, motherfucker. I do like the idea of introducing the world of Conan to the Imperial cult. Okay, these big assholes need to move along... Yeah, these guys hit like trucks, if I remember correctly. I heard that growl. Yeah, no. Have at it, dude. Okay, that's some bullshit. They've got all the stone camped out. I'll go to the other side. I mean, I gotta say, the game does look not a lot better, but it does look better than when I played it the first time, so. And hell, you couldn't, you certainly couldn't do this in the <laughs> last time I played the game. Alright, let's harvest some more flesh. Okay. <laughs> stone, stone. There's some over there. I still think my, unless they changed it, which I don't think they did, I still think my favorite part of this game, because it's just so fucked up, is how you recruit followers. 
You have to keep them fed and strap them to the wheel of pain where you will break their spirit. And then they basically become your servants. I think it just makes you... Just gives you corruption. That apparently if you watch an entertainer, a dancer... I'm gonna call them strippers, honestly. Apparently. Because I've never had one in this game. So I don't know... I don't know what the entertainer does. Well, I know it gets rid of the... It lets you purge... Like the darkness or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just love that that's one of the things that you can do. Is like, hey, you want servants? You can get them. Break their spirit. And then trust them with weapons to guard you while you sleep. It is a fucked up universe, but I am I kind of like that it's completely unapologetic about it. That's kind of one of the things I like about it. It's like, yes, we know this is completely fucked up in every way. And we're cool with that. Like, I like that they were, they're like, hey, this is the source material. Source material is fucked up. Apparently that's how it is, is like, because I remember seeing an entertainer. I've never had one in my, like in the, um, yeah, I never had an entertainer in when I played this on YouTube, but I saw them in other camps and yeah, it was pretty much a dancer dancing around the fire and you just basically watched. So yes. Steve, that's exactly how it works in this reality. <laughs> and Storm Knight's got it right there. Like I said, I've never read the books. I've read one or two of the comics. And I played the Conan MMO, which was also based on the original lore. And I watched the most recent Conan movie, which is truer to the lore than the Schwarzenegger movies. And yeah, no, they're fucked up places. And yeah, if you look on, I don't know what the, yeah, I know, my stomach hurts, my dude's hungry. We about to cook some flesh, it's okay. I think we have enough to build our last roof tile. And before we go back, what's it take to make a fire? We can do that too. Or not, there we go. Yeah, there is nothing about this game that screams politically correct. As we discussed, if I didn't have the... <laughs> like I, like we mentioned before, if I didn't have the nudity, nudity thing turned off during our character creation screen, we had a breast size thing. Uh, slider if we were playing a woman well, or, or a man and yes there was a slider for your other endowments I guess I can't harvest my corpse not this one rigor mortis can't harvest okay I'm gonna put a fire in the corner uh, fuel. I can just throw sticks in there, can I not? Sure. Sticks. I have a lot of sticks. And I have meat. So, what now? Okay, I turn that on. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, we're going to eat some berries. Uh, 
Honestly, I have no idea where this takes place during the, um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the Conan lore, but I know he's in this desert with us. He's the one who pulled us off the cross after we were crucified. So we've met Conan. Okay, now how do I actually cook some damn food? Do I throw it? That, that says thrall, so no. Can I do that? That's, that, I think, is just fuel. Oh, no, I, it does. I, I throw the food there, too. Okay. Let's cook up some meat. turn the fire off because apparently you can just flip a switch and save <laughs> save that sure eat a filling meal apparently just one piece of meat okay hey we're regenerating health all right so what let's level up a little bit more we have wow we have a lot of unspent points actually so what do you guys think Howard should be leveled up in? Grit? Encumbrance. I like encumbrance. Survival. Apparently, if we max that out, he gets a bronzed physique. <laughs> My god, we could make Howard get a tan, basically. <laughs> uh, let's see. Agility, extended leap. Thuggery. Apparently, if we get to this first one, we get the we get the trait thuggery. Every blow you strike with a truncheon deals one hundred percent more concussive damage. <laughs> Survival, fair enough. <laughs> and that's completely okay. I think we're going to spread out our points. We're going to go with agility, as you pointed out, to, so we don't get murdered as easily. We are going to go with survival and encumbrance so we can carry more shit. He's kind of weak right now. Breath timer is double. Meh. Grit. Meh. I like the idea of him getting thuggery as well. <laughs> and apparently our food, yeah, our food's got that countdown timer. It's going to rot, which kind of sucks. So let's see, what should be our next equipment? Look at the max in strength, okay. Blood Mad Berserker. Whenever your hit points fall below 25%, you deal 50% more melee damage. I also like the second level is called Salting the Wound. So, yeah. Gluttonous Gains in Vitality is the max one. Shafted, oh god, is the <laughs> maximum one in accuracy. Oh, good God. The rest aren't as bad. Artful Dodger, Momentum. But yeah, I love the names of some of these abilities. Good God. All right, we're going to go into feats and learn some more recipes. Yeah. Yeah. It would be pretty, that would be pretty nice. I want it. So, we should probably have a torch at some point. Maybe we should also look into trying to build the Wheel of Pain. Oh, good God. 
So, apparently, under religion, we can have the altar to Emir, the acolyte of Mitra, the acolyte of Set, the acolyte of Yog, or the pleasure place of Durketo. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> the lady that murdered me twice earlier in this episode, she spawn camped me, damn it. <laughs> I built my house in the middle of the night and she murdered me. She just came out of nowhere and fucked me up. I want a shield. <laughs> I think we're going to try to work our way to Thrall Taker. I'm going to save some points for that. Because I want the lesser wheel of pain and the truncheon so we can capture some people. Holy hell, there's a whole lot more shit to build than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Uh... So, yeah. Son of... Holy shit. Well... Apparently, the Stygian Raider chest piece has a boob window. Oh, damn. Look at that axe. Make the parking lot of the warden. <laughs> or the closet to corn. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have the basics. I just want to try to get the Wheel of Pain. So we can get someone to basically be our, well, frankly, our slave. We could use it. So let's go back to that. Engineer. We can make a siege foundation. Huh? What's that, Centaur? <laughs> Actually, yeah, we need that box. We need a wooden box to store our equipment in because we're going to get a bunch of it. <laughs> Building the closet to corn. That's all I said about corn. <laughs> uh... Wonder if that lady's back. Okay, apparently. Well, can I have that back? I can throw the spear. I need to go build another one. Because two of those, I'll have one to throw and one to stab people. Okay. Apparently, we're just going to chill on the roof to my house. So, all right, let's make another spear. <laughs> Have I? I've lost Corn's favor. I mean, I guess I haven't really been sacrificing to him very often. I mean, I stopped bandaging. When was I bandaging in the first place? All right. So some of our future thralls, as the game likes to put it, are chilling over here. So once we get a truncheon, we can knock them the fuck out and break them on the tree, tree, the wheel of pain. So we need more resources, though. <laughs> Howard needs to start bringing in the teeth. 
Yeah, we'll get to it. Not sure they're the kind of teeth you would want, though. I mean, not gonna lie, it's some pretty nasty shit out here. We need bones. Oh shit, we need a knife, too, if I remember correctly. Where is the knife? Okay, we need twine. Goddamn twine. Everything needs twine. Yeah, the knife, if I remember correctly, was a good way to harvest corpses and shit. You know, it makes me really nervous to be in my inventory and hear all these weird-ass sound effects in the background. Okay, I don't see a sandstorm coming, so we're good for a bit. Now, how many people are at this little place? Well, more than I want to fuck with. Wow, they relax very quickly after I walk up in their business. Okay, what direction... The hell is that? The shattered bridge, the broken highway. Huh. So if I remember correctly, this is all desert and canyons. This is the, I'm assuming, the jungle biome or forest. And this is the frozen biome. Where would you guys like to see us eventually go? Are you guys more interested in, uh, like, the blasted wasteland here? We're not going in here. Undead shit will kill us. So, jungle, maybe forest. I actually don't know which one this is. But I do know this is the frozen area. I'm kind of partial to both. I actually do like heavily forested areas. But I'm also fine with snow. Alright, so we're going to go look for resources. Our house is right there. Huh. There is a fucking crocodile. I knew there was a damn crocodile. Okay. Okay, there's a couple crocodiles. I do not like that. There's two over there. There's one over there. There's probably one in this grass ready to just step on up and just chew on my leg while I'm going to take my leg off entirely. Yeah, pretty sure I can't take a crocodile unless they nerfed them. Because I remember dying so many times to crocodiles in the early access period of this game. Dude, I hear you hissing. I am nowhere near your business. Fuck off, dude. I just need the stone. We need skulls and stone. Okay. Okay. If you guys are hoping for crocodile stone, you're going to be very, very much disappointed. Because I am not fucking with those guys. <laughs> right now. I'll get you human skulls. I have no problem with human skulls. plant fiber because one thing I would like to do is <laughs> now all I need to do is I need to craft a secondary bedroll and honestly one of the best things to do if this is anything like the early access period is make some crazy-ass suicidal runs up that mountain. Let's see. Up this mountain 
to this river and right along here was a nice unless they changed it is a nice little hollow area there are crocodiles in the area but there's also shit to hunt for food lots of water and iron so if i'm gonna do this the way i did before if it's even feasible i need to go drop this shit off um have some food which i already have on me uh take the tools have a spare bedroll and leave like raw resources behind and then basically run <laughs> So we need to build a box to keep our shit because honestly we're probably gonna die a couple times. Okay, we actually need 12 of those to make a single box. You know it really was. I love that movie. And I'm still waiting many many years later for the long promised movie where we get to see an old ass Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan on his throne as a king I've been waiting for a very long time and I'm probably gonna be waiting even longer uh, we're gonna keep some of the rocks and some of the branches so we can repair what the hell is that just vines okay i mean every few years you hear more rumors about oh yeah now that he's not governor now he's not whatever now he's old enough on his own that he could be that he could play that role you always hear rumors that he's getting there he's getting there and then nothing comes of it all right i need to go get more fiber and more twine so I can get our backup um, you know the rest of our materials for this run and who knows this run may completely be in vain because I absolutely do not you miserable what you doing really dude in the head come on Oh. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Aha. God take you. Oh hell. Dodge. What the hell? No. Wrong damn button. Damn it. <laughs> ha. While trying to do my little, <laughs> while trying to do my little dodge, I ended up clicking outside of the, outside of the damn screen. Thankfully, my corpse is just right here. Ha! Huh. All right, get the knife back. And you know what? We're going to get another spear. And I'm going to ram that down somebody's throat. I'm going to get a bunch of spears. Well, I did do better. Yes, thank you for that. I did almost kill them. And then I clicked that. Nope, not going any closer that way. I don't have the I don't have the gear I want. Huh, I actually do kind of prefer this game not in first person. Huh. Normally when you give me the option, I prefer first person. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I think that is the plan. Let's get all the plant fiber we can. I'm not sure there's a point in um, killing them, because I don't know if they have a lot of loot. I mean, at this point, vengeance is enough of a point for me to kill them. Yeah, you guys can all enjoy the skullet. I can't think of it as anything else now. Uh, 
Uh, can I make a bow? Then I gotta worry about making arrows and shit. I don't even know where the hell to get feathers. Yeah, no, we're making spears. Oh no, I just need bone for that. Like, I've got that laying around. <laughs> so, spears. I can craft ten of the fuckers. Three more is good. <laughs> That's an interesting image. Okay, so how many did we need for the new bedroll? We need three twine. That is one thing that I wish this game would do that I know other survival games have adapted to give you if you need to build something like this. If you have all the materials, you can just click on it, this and the automated process starts of building all the prerequisites. Provided you have all the prerequisites, like the materials for all the prerequisites. So yeah. That is a good point. I wonder if I can go get... Let's see about that. Oh, he has two knives. Well, before we go and attempt to murder those people, that is a hell of a way to get out of the water, dude. Sir Francis Drake Rimmer. <laughs> oh, God, I need to watch that show again. Dude, just go through the door. Not sure what the hell you're pulling there. Just go through the door. You know what? Maybe, just maybe, we can go a little cannibal. Cooked human flesh. You know, I think one of the funniest things I ever read about that was the whole, the fact that if you look at the actor these days, the wrinkles on his forehead from so many years of having that damn H glued to his forehead, the wrinkles actually curve around, like they didn't form right, so they curve around where the H was. I find that highly amusing. And we are going to start eating human flesh. That will apparently make me regenerate. Yeah, see, we're gaining something here on the purge meter. <laughs> apparently, he just likes to climb. Okay, what the hell is that, and why is it sounding so close to my home? Also, we're going to harvest our own corpse. Or not. Like, I don't even want to know how the game explains this level of weird-ass stuff. Dude, it would not surprise me if there are snakes all up in this... Up in here ready to eat me as it stands. Now, these assholes over here... Yeah, no, come on. <laughs> well, that was not... Not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. I don't know what shit you guys are trying to pull. You know what? She needs to go. Fuck all of you. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> there we go. Both of them are dead. Hey, we got a skull. We actually did get a skull. <laughs> and a lot of delicious, delicious human flesh. Oh, yeah. Just out of spite, get rid of their bonfire? I don't think I can, actually. <laughs> Keep chowing down on human flesh until my health is regenerated. 
Oh, yeah. I don't have the I don't have any way to to mount the skull at the moment, so we're just gonna put the. How is it a weathered skull? I just I I just harvested it. Break their sleeping mats, you know? That's a good. That's something I should try. I don't like that I didn't get my spear back. Because I know I hit that dude while he was sleeping. Or as he was getting up. Nah. I can't destroy it. Alright. We're going to make some more food. We're going to basically cook up all this, you know, human flesh. <laughs> Do they get better quality as I collect more of them? Dude. Dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I guess I gotta turn on the campfire. Alright, we'll just chill here for a minute. You know what? That worked well enough that I want some more spears. Also, can I make any of this? Yeah, no, I have no idea how to make any of that shit. Uh, let's make some more spears for the trip. <laughs> you know, this being a Conan game, especially following the writings of, you know, trying to be true to the writings and everything, I would not be surprised if there's a skull collecting thing. <laughs> yeah, no, he likes these really elaborate entrances. That's Howard for you. All right. So we have Apprentice tackle, uh, Taxidermist. Uh, unfortunately, that does not count human heads. The Wheel of Pain. We are going to unlock that right the hell now. Hmm. Let's learn how to be an armorer. Ooh, explosives. Goddamn. I want to know how to make explosives, damn it. Well, I mean, we have a wide variety. Apparently, we can be a gardener. Oh, hell. We can make a throne. Unfortunately, it's made out of stone, not skulls. So don't get too excited. But we can make a bone cage, it looks like. That looked like toilet paper to me. I don't know what to say. Let's see. See if there are any suitably human bacon making. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, improved preservation box. Odd. All right. We have our food. Wait. I know we know how to make a water skin. We just need more hide, which means we need to hunt some more. Because apparently human hide does not count. Alright, before we head out... God damn it, dude. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to get into your house. Whatever. I'm going to leave some of this shit behind. Did I not tell you to cook all that? What the hell is in here? Oh. Oh. We did indeed cook 22 pieces of human flesh. We just have that much more to cook. Can I cook the entire arm? Oh, Jesus Christ. I just saw what that can do. Greatest game ever, right here. Right there. <laughs> Okay, now. <laughs> that is beautiful.
Oh my god, I was not expecting that. And I am quite pleased to see it. How could he not? <laughs> that is probably true. We are eating human flesh and being willing to swing around a severed arm as a weapon. I think, yeah, I think the mystery is starting to clear up as to why we were nailed to the cross. <laughs> Man, I don't think we even cooked the arm. <laughs> we didn't even have a chance to cook the arm. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this on the hot bar so I can get it whenever I need it. I hear footsteps. Anybody? Okay, then. <laughs> you know, I think I can probably use a shield with the severed arm. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need bone to make the shield. Damn it, all to hell. Oh no, I guess I got a normal wooden one. I just need twine. Four twine. And then I can have a shield. That we can go into combat. I just made four twine, did I not? I only made three twine. Can I have the shield now? Hey, Gitank, how's it going? We are just gearing up for a trip far, far to the north to hopefully find some steel or iron. And being quite pleased with a game that allows me to swing a severed human arm around as a weapon. See? <laughs> okay, we are fully prepared for... Our journey north. Probably don't have a lot of daylight left, so we should probably get going. <laughs> I also like how he takes it out with the flourish. Screw the crocodiles, we're going to go around. I heard that growl, what the hell was that? Was it the damn crocodile? Uh, I plan to, yes. Um, you know, provided people are interested in watching more, I'll keep streaming it. And Gatank, uh, I am on single player currently. Uh, just, you know, and if people want to join the co-op experience um they are more than welcome just let me know i'll set stuff up for a co-op game and have however many people join as the game will let me those are hyenas also our dude's name is howard he has a skullet a red bushy beard eye shadow and is a failed drummer Or so I'm told. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, now I feel like shit. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. After I kill it, it's like, hey... By the way, here was its child. I mean, it's not going to stop me from harvesting its flesh in front of its child, but still. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hmm. 
do not have the required... God damn it. Come on. Oh shit. Okay. And dead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, we didn't make it very far, but we are able to get our shit back very soon because we are right here. And I need my cooked human arms. <laughs> All my food was on that corpse. You know, the food, you know, the cooked flesh of our... <laughs> ah, the cooked flesh of our enemies. Now, I don't think they would have respawned by now, but let's hope they didn't heal, too. And they just standing right next to my shit. <laughs> Let's see how stealthy I can be. These are wild animals, so probably not stealthy enough. Oh shit. Ah! Get out of the inventory! Son of a bitch! Run! Run, other way. Don't just. Apparently, I can outrun a hyena in the short term. They're right behind me. Fuck off. <laughs> yep, plan B. Back to the water. Things in this game don't like to swim. almost dead. And I will kill it shortly. <laughs> Let's actually equip our shit. <laughs> okay. Shield. Severed arm. <laughs> I don't think that's what's best in life, though, Gatank. <laughs> Let's get all my spears out. <laughs> And there you go. Hey, look at it this way. If you if you like to see someone running like a like a little girl and screaming at the damn things, uh, I got you covered. Regenerate. Alright. Like I said, though, this was kind of one of the ways I did it in the early access, was I kept making runs like that into the mountains until I found a way through. It's also why I keep my hands on a bedroll. Which I'm going to use once we get right up there. Let's see, how much... How many fibers did it take to make one of those bastards? I don't know, but I'm losing stamina just floating here. I need to make another one. <laughs> I mean, I'll try Centaur, but I gotta say, I don't have the vocal cords that some of those other that some of those other streamers and YouTubers got. I don't know that I'm physically capable of making some of the noises that they do. Huh. I could have had a torch this whole time. <laughs> uh, let's see. We wanted a second bedroll. Oh, 
I need branches too. But luckily, I see sticks. Well, no. I see pre-sticks is what we'll call them. You know, trees. that fiber bed roll hey I can craft two of them I will do this just make checkpoints that is a truly horrifying way to think about it centaur I mean really okay I need a bit of stone for the traveling Nope, not that. Okay. Apparently I can... the hell? Okay, now can I? I can, okay. I want to get the stone pick out because I need a bit of stone to keep my tools in good shape for the travel. For a little road trip through, well, essentially hell it feels like. <laughs> Maybe not quite that much, but pretty close, yes. Do not be making that noise at me, you bastard. I might decide I need new shoes, and then he's going to kill me. I discovered the what now? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is a creepy-ass statue. Okay, maybe somebody more familiar with the lore can maybe tell me what the hell that thing on the statue is. Because I... Yeah, I sure as hell don't remember those things. But again, not super familiar with the lore. Let the sun come up so I can see where I'm going. And so we can get a better look at the creepy statue. What the hell was that, dude? Yeah, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, you mother... Down you both go, you miserable, miserable sons of bitches. I got hyena pelts, though. actually use I use a uh, OBS and I actually don't merge the different sections of the videos together oh hi I'm not quite that fucked up I'm not gonna kill that thing I just do it as one big video I've actually not gotten into, surprise, I know, I've not gotten into any, um, any editing. Ah, uh, possibly. I don't think I have the necessary stuff to tame it, but yeah, I think that's possible. Gotta say, the combat controls feel a little off to me. I feel like maybe... As, mu as heretical as this sounds, being a primarily PC gamer, I feel like they should may... It would probably be better on a gamepad.
Ah, oh, just the software's on my desktop, and it just, um, I tell it to capture whatever window I want. So yeah, I'm just running the, just open up OBS and tell it to focus on the process for the game, and that's all I need to do. I've thought about getting a capture card, though. I'd like one, because I want to be able to do, I want to be able to do console games at some point as well. But I've not looked into the various options yet, so I don't even know which capture cards are decent. Yeah, I, I like OBS just because it's uh, free. <laughs> is is it is always a good thing. And you know, because I don't know how. Now, I'm, I'll be damned if some of that software, how much is it, like, some of that software is, like, several hundred dollars. There ain't no way in hell. I mean, I can understand doing that if you've got, if you've been making a fair amount of money from your streaming and YouTubing, but when you're first starting out, it's like, yeah, nah, nah, not that much. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty powerful software, and there's a lot of guides on how to set it up, how to get the most out of it. I've actually been quite pleased with it. Also, I feel like we should probably drop a bedroll right the hell here. Really? Blocking spawn points? What are we blocking the spawn of? Okay. Yeah, I kind of like, um, like, one of the things you can do with OBS is you can just tell it to capture your whole desktop. You can tell it to just to capture a specific program. Because, yeah, right now what you guys are seeing for, um, that I've got going for OBS is... You're just seeing the game, but I'm using it on a windowed mode with a the Twitch app up in one corner, OBS up in the other corner, so I can see all three <clears throat> things at once, but the only thing you're, you're seeing on your end is the game. So, okay. Is, what the hell is the... Do I need to, like, put a foundation or some shit? Because I feel like our plan just ran into a bit of a, a bit of a snag. Ah. I see. Yeah, I've never really messed around with, like, having the multiple video clips and then merging them into one video. I've always just, since I started, just done... A single video and just recorded it straight through oh hell yeah right here okay this is our spawn point now I feel like we are gonna die soon more hyenas yeah I mean the different clips that it has that you can split it into is, um, you know, would be e would make it easier for editing. But like I said, I am not very familiar with editing at all. So I also kind of try to I don't know, you know, I don't see anything wrong with editing. That that doesn't look good. That looks like a giant ass scorpion tail. You know, there's no, there's obviously nothing wrong with editing. I just know, I just know personally when I watch YouTube videos, I kind of get annoyed if it's overly edited, because I feel like I'm missing a lot of. You look unfriendly. Yeah, I just feel like I'm missing a lot when it's overly edited, so I try not to. And like I said, I actually have never tried. Oh, well, I take that back. I've I've tried some minor editing, but I am by no means skilled at it what the hell 
Whoa! What the hell are you? Uh, something that's gonna murder me, I think. So yeah, I've been, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can always learn how to edit. I just never got around to it. Shit, my stamina does not come back as long as I have my shield up. Nope. Fuck you, dude. I feel like this is going way better than it has any right to. Yeah, I don't know that that should have happened. But, stone and crystal. Okay, I like the spear. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. Seriously, with that big horn on its head, I do assume that if it had charged, I would have died. Oh, there's another one. And another one. Gotta say, the landscape's getting more interesting. And we are getting very close to what is most likely... Severe danger. Mother... What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? I need water. Okay. Yeah, no. You're right. He can't get to me over here, but... Yeah, I know my throat feels dry, apparently. I need to find... a way down. It doesn't get me killed, because there's water... We're near a river. See ya! Oh shit. Well. Apparently. Holy hell. And I'm gonna die. You think I can survive by sliding? Holy shit. Nope. Nope. They are everywhere. And I do not like this red banner straight ahead. Okay, so far... We doing alright? We doing alright? Okay, to the north is the river. And new bedroll. <laughs> huh. The enemy encampments are getting progressively nicer. I'm sorry, what was that? Is it one of those troll things or goblin things? There's where I'm going. I saw a figure moving over here. I'm not crazy. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, maybe face the right direction, dude. This damn foliage. Come on. Yog will have your soul. Why? Who the fuck's Yog? And why does the motherfucker want my soul? I will feast upon you. Dude, not if I eat you first. You ain't the only cannibal around here. Hell yeah. F loot all. Okay, we need to get some water. Now. Oh, we're gonna die. Or not. Oh yeah, we're not gonna make it to water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost there. But now we have no gear. So, hey, right there. I like that it remembers where I died. Upside is, we know there are no enemies on the way to my corpse. Yeah, don't break your legs, dude. Because I'm sure that's a thing. Oh, okay. We are over here. Yep. <laughs> Feels very familiar. <laughs> Shield, spear, quickly, before something shows up and eats me. Because we know it will. This game is not very exile friendly. Man, our spear is in good shape despite the fact that it's murdered a lot of fuckers at this point. Alright. So what we're looking for is an island that's not covered in fucking crocodiles. That's for damn sure. Look at that shit. waiting to see one pop out of the water. Oh, there's two over there. I think we're going to get... I think I'm going to get that wish, apparently. So the crocodiles only want to kill me. They don't want to kill the wildlife that's two inches from them. <laughs> so. We're looking for a place to build a home over here. Because I believe we're in an area that, unless I'm completely mistaken, there should be iron. Oh, I am. I played the hell out of the first um, Mountain Blade and Warband afterwards. Hey, there's iron right there, and it'll respawn. Can I just build on top? Like, what the fuck? Should I just try to build on top of the giant hand? I wonder what's up there. He says before he wanders off and gets murdered by some weird creatures for, you know, disturbing a holy place. Or them. Oh, there's actually something up here. The Harlot's Journal. Cannibal savages, I've made my way here as it seems they will not come close to this area. But the wretched bastards have beaten me still. Something courses through my veins, not the fiery visions of the lotus or the blissful dreams of the poppy. But a dark, swirling maelstrom of pain that hovers beneath a tentacled shadow. I should never... 
have drunk their infernal concoction. It is becoming difficult to move. Zath, take them. I see now what the dream foretold, a premonition. I go to the embrace of Zath willingly. Perhaps in his afterlife there are beds of finest spider silk. Uh huh. That'd be hilarious building like a tower like right here in the palm of this thing's hand. I don't know if I could. You know, there's only one way to find out. Foundations! Which I can't build. Pickaxe! You don't mind me. You stay up there. Actually, you know what? Since we are in an area that I am comfortable settling in, the... Okay, we don't have another one. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Okay, we need more twine. Before we do anything else, we need more twine. That's exactly what it sounds like. And that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, there's iron right here. This is a good place. Despite the ghosts and the roofied harlot and everything else, yeah. Other than that, perfectly alright place to settle. <laughs> Nah, we're fine. Maybe if I offer them an arm. Uh, where did my bedroll go? I crafted a bedroll. Huh. <laughs> the game does not want me to have a bedroll. Bitches. The neighbors need seem pleasant enough, though. Except for the crocodiles. Those guys are assholes, but crocodiles are always assholes. After spending several... <laughs> Damn it, Stormlight. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we've, yeah, we've, we've passed Twisted a while ago. I mean, at this point, the only way it would get worse would be, you know, if we could play fetch with a crocodile or a hyena with the severed arm we're carrying. Okay. Oh, it's down here. I, uh, okay. Yes, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Although I am wondering why I have to scroll down on my inventory when... <laughs> hey, I did my best to keep out the, um... I did my best to keep out the... What I could, okay? After that, well... I'm not alone in this. <laughs> yeah, the answer to that is hell no, they're not going to let me put this on here. Oh. The ghost just ran and jumped off. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to sleep right here. This is home for now. <laughs> uh, I feel like this series and this series of streams and videos is going to get so much more twisted by the time we're done. Hey, is that coal in addition to iron? 
It is, but our pickaxe is not going to be able to harvest much of it. At least I know these deposits will respawn. <laughs> no, it's not a bad thing at all. I figure this is the first part of our journey towards the forest. Oh, okay. Stone pick is broken. I think it's a good place for our... Oh, we have putrid meat now. Uh, yeah, this is a good place to build a house, because then we can get... <laughs> yeah, we can build a house here. We can get metal tools. We can get some serve thralls. <laughs> hey, in this case, we don't have to pay our workers. There is no pay here. We don't need money. We just need to feed them while we break them on the Wheel of Pain. I really do wonder if I can just build right here. And actually... Huh... Well, I didn't say we didn't get paid. I'm talking the locals don't get paid. <laughs> Foundations. As many as you can make me. And more materials while you're crafting that, because apparently I can harvest and craft at the same time. You gotta wonder what's going through this guy's head. He's just up there minding his own business, and some crazy-ass dude with a skullet just shows up, starts harvesting material. You know. I know, that, I know the lady said he won't come near this, but still. Okay. <laughs> he might very well. It looks like he doesn't have any. So what are we at? Two more foundations? I can do that. I think that's all we need for a basic house. And then we just need to collect the stone for everything else. Alright, let's go get the basic house. I mean, if the sunlight hits it just right, it could be rather blinding. Alright. Foundation. Oh, we can indeed build right here. I wonder. Oh, we can. Guess who's going to try to make a tower built off the side of this damn thing? Like, we're going to build a structure that... I think I'm going to make it go all the way to these stairs... And we're going to have it hanging off each side and going down to the bottom. I think that sounds like a worthy goal. And that dude can just stand up there and watch us defile, I guess, their holy place? I don't know. Is it just me, or am I, he or is anybody else hearing what sounds like that predator clicking sound in the background? I'll take the coal. few seconds, not few seconds, every few minutes in the game, I hear what sounds like the damn predator. Alright, over here. 
Repair, Repair. Attributes. We have leveled up a bit. Let's go with more strength and encumbrance and survival. I know I should probably spend some on the rest of those, but let's get the first perks out of the way. <laughs> and can you blame him, Hollow? Okay, we're going to get back over here. We are going to get the platforms out again. Oh, can I only make one? Well, that sucks. <laughs> we need a lot more stone and we can't see shit. You know, I would love... Com not completely off topic, pretty close. I want another damn good Predator game. And not one where I have to kill the Predator, damn it. Okay, so we ju I just found, I just realized, a problem with our new home. Trees are somewhat in short supply unless I go near the crocodiles. There it was again. Speaking of which, I think I need to go and reinstall, um... I need to go and reinstall Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah, exactly. The most recent Ghost Recon Wildlands, there's a mission where the Predator is present. I don't know if you're... I think you're hunting it, or you're trying to survive it, or something, but... It sounds... I love the Predator franchise. So, yeah, no, I need to play that. Because I did try... I did make a short series on... Uh, Wildlands early in the my YouTube channel's life, basically. Uh, ah, got it. I think there's a storm coming. And I do not have shelter. There it was again. But yeah, I played some Wildlands on the channel for a while, and then uh, ended the series and continued playing it on my own, because despite some of the hate that the game got, I actually, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for Ubisoft's open world games. I am. I am quite enjoying the newest Far Cry. I enjoy the Assassin's Creed's game, Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for their little, you know, for their little routine, their little, you know, same game, different, you know, settings. But hey. <laughs> I wonder if it's still possible to cheese those damn crocodiles because in the first when the game first came out in early access one way you could kill a crocodile was just to stand on a rock or stand on a step and they couldn't get up to you and you could just like stab them from up there i'm i'm watching there's a crocodile over there i need water <laughs> hey, look at all 
this stone. You know, I wonder if the crocodile is as tough as I remember him being. Now, here's a question I have for you guys. Uh, since you guys have tuned into a variety of different games that I have played on the stream. And I've been curious about this for a while. Are there any particular genres or styles of games that you have been hoping or wanting to see on the channel or the stream that I haven't really done? Or that I did at one point and then just haven't done more of? Either way, just curious. I think we're going to try to kill a crocodile. Because I don't know if they're as tough as they used to be. I know those big ass, like some of the other enemies aren't. Hey, dude. Oh. Oh, God. Probably shouldn't be trying to fight him in the water. It seems like a recipe for disaster. He's not as bad as I thought he was. Loot. Give me that flesh and fangs and bone. Alright. We can harvest in peace now. <laughs> Oh, and I am planning on paying a visit to our neighbors right around the time I have a wheel of pain. You know, it's a conversation starter. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't do that, actually. <laughs> Alright, we need more of this. Let's see. Two more, at least. And then I want... Four of these, one of these, and fucking twine. I'll make ten of those, just get it out of the way. Let's go check in on our home. Hey, look, iron again. I would not be surprised if such a thing existed. Yeah, I'm gonna build right up to these stairs like this, and then... I mean, it's kind of off... There was that fucking click again. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. No! It's uneven! <laughs> I can live with it. This is not our final base anyway. We will be moving on after after a while, after we build up our equipment. Okay, so I want a window here so I can keep an eye on the neighbors. I want one here. Where did I put that one? Yeah, right there. Eh, I guess we don't really need one over here. But you know what? Sometimes I might want to look at the giant hand. So yeah, we'll put one here. Alright. Can I craft the door now? I can craft the door now. We're also going to need a fire. Which I can make. And I have coal that I can stash in the fire. Go to the fire pit. Okay, let's put the door in. Wow, I can install that from way the fuck over here. Put this next to the window. Yeah, too bad I can't pick that up. I think I'm going to have to destroy that. 
to put a um, platform underneath. I mean, that's one way to get down. Yeah, I think the game's fucking with me now. I heard the damn clicking again. <laughs> also, I need more hide. And I am pretty sure I can get that from these fuckers down here. But I don't have a bow. Okay, that hurt you? You basically jumped off a cliff a little while ago, dude. Oh. That that was easy. I got a horn. Wow. That was not even close. Can I have it back? Thank you. Can I redeem myself? Well, <laughs> no. No, I can't. <laughs> Get back here. Okay, then. He's in there somewhere. We have savory flesh that we apparently harvested from the cliff. So yeah, these guys are not dropping any hide. That sucks. Because I would really like a water pouch. Hey. Don't you run from me. Wow, I'm out of stamina already. I feel like he's going to lead us into a trap. luck getting any hide which makes me wonder if I need a different tool to harvest the hide oh I think if I try to get into a fight without my shield I am going to die here. Did you run from me? <laughs> now that, wow, that's a big ass tree. Uh, that's how you go hunting. Oh, fuck that. See, he's trying to get me killed. That dude has armor. Okay, we need stone anyway. <laughs> All right. game expects me to kill those fuckers with like a uh, bow and arrow. Maybe that would get me the hide. Or maybe there's a skidding knife somewhere. Then knowing this game, you could then use to make the body suit that we are, that is being discussed in chat currently. <laughs> Come on. a nice area for us.
more crocodiles. I don't want to be snuck up on by one. But yeah, see, I'm thinking about doing like a staircase going up here or ladder or some shit. Going up to our home right there. This is a giant boulder. I should probably craft some stuff. And then some walls. You know what? I will craft 12 walls. <laughs> I was going to say, that should be fading any time now. up top. Ah, yes, that is a good idea. Put a door right here. And some stairs. All right, let's take a look. I can make another door frame. Of course, I don't have twine and sticks. Let's make six twine. And let's... Well, actually, we have the fire going. Let's throw the meat in there. With the coal. With the feral flesh as well. Let's cook all the meat. door frame in. Put that right here. Yeah, it works. I mean, I know I could put it right here, but I kind of like it right there. Normal walls here. I really like that it does the whole outer and inner face thing. It is very useful. Hey, we're enclosed, kind of. Still need to make a door. I can make a thatched roof. Not gonna, but I could. Alright. Back to harvesting of trees. Because, yeah, we don't have nearly enough wood to finish this. Now that I know that the crocodiles are not to be feared as much. Yeah, I still don't want to go fucking with them unnecessarily. And we need plant fiber. We always need more plant fiber. Seems to be a very common ingredient. How many crocodiles are over here? Certainly don't want to fight more than one at a time. Huh. Shit. Oh, I see you. I see you, big ass. Uh-uh. Be trying to call your friends over here. Ow. There you go. Now, can I actually harvest with knives? No. Now, does the pick give me different? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I do remember in the early access, there was, depending on the tool you use to harvest the body, you would get different shit. 
Also, the different tool you used on different um, things. Like, for example, if you used a pick on a tree, you'd be more likely to get bark. I never saw what happened. Yeah, nothing really happens when you hit that. Man. There is another one up there. Yeah, see, watch. God damn you to hell. Whoa. Uh-uh. Do not try to kick a crocodile in the face. I'm pretty sure the crocodile is stronger than you. That's very bad. <laughs> I did not have the health. Oh, but I'm going back for him. Never mind that I am completely unarmed. Oh, son of a bitch. What the hell? Hey, close the door. Now that is some bullshit. <laughs> well, this could be a problem. Well, we need to take some meat. <laughs> and then we're going to go down and we're going to use our back door. That sounded wrong. Yeah, we're going to use this door to make our way around the lower area <laughs> to get my spears and shit back. I might have just... I almost died again. I mean, yeah, but the guard dog's not going to let me back in my damn house. Crocodiles. Please don't be any over here. No scaly lizard bastards, please. I don't see my corpse. Did they eat my corpse? Can they eat my corpse? Nah, it's right there. Okay. Got my shit back. Dude, do not even drop that on me. What the hell, man? <laughs> Don't curse me like that. Oh, he healed. He fucking healed. Oh, don't show off. I don't know if this is the proper way to hunt crocodile. <laughs> then again, I'm sure they're not actually used to being hunted. Okay, we're gonna try the axe on him this time. Eh. Same thing. Alright, we need to heal up completely so we can reclaim our home from these sons of bitches. But yeah, let me see if it still works that way. 
So we got a tree here. Let's try a pickaxe on it. Yeah, see, we get bark from it now. Not a lot, but we do get the bark. Yeah. And I hate them. I mean, objectively, they are cool-ass creatures, but after having lived in Louisiana for several years, nah, I don't like the sons of bitches. Welcome here, motherfucker. Uh-uh. Fuck you. You're not doing this again. Okay, we might be doing this again. Nope. Wow. He lunged pretty far that time. He actually did a flying leap. Nope. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm just glad he couldn't rip my door down. I mean, how fucked up would that have been? Just turn around and he's just tore through the... Hell, he could have just moved into the damn place. I've seen him jump. I don't like watching that. <laughs> so we got a lot of meat we can cook. 20, in fact. Get to it. All right. Let's repair this. Repair this if we can. Okay. Now. Let's see if we can't build some more walls. We can. Yeah, no, I think my... I think my dislike of crocodiles can be traced to being in Louisiana, driving down a road in the middle of fucking nowhere... And there's canals on either side of the road. And ending up with a fucking flat tire in the middle of nowhere. And looking out my window and swearing that on the way before I had a flat tire. That there were damn crocodiles on the side of the road. That started a lifetime of... Fuck that. <laughs> All right. Now get some more stones so we can finish our house. Especially now that we don't have a damn crocodile trying to spawn camp us. Yeah, I do need to make a box. I don't... Let's see. How much do we have? I think I might be able to make one already. No, it needs a lot of... Needs a lot of twine. And a lot of wood, actually. I can make nine twine. I don't really have any in my inventory. So yeah. So we need to collect more wood. Okay. 
and be prepared to fight more of these assholes. Interesting. That's not giving me any resources. Ooh, aloe seeds and aloe leaves. I also need to start trying to make iron and steel weapons, or sorry, even just tools, because they give me a lot more resources per hit. Again, unless that's changed. Again, my a lot of my knowledge about this game is quite outdated. Okay. We are getting the plant fiber to make the box. And when we get back to camp... I like how the game's been telling me also, on a side note, this whole time since we've been playing when it's been giving me my loose goals up there at the top. It's been telling me for quite some time to make a torch. Ah, it's a lady guard now. It looks like it from here. Oh, shit. I just about ran off this side of the cliff. Down where there be gators. Now, crocodiles, whatever. Alright, more cooked flesh. Shredded roast, in fact. I wonder if we can cook this arm. No. I'm not going to get rid of it, though. I like the idea of having that. I mean, it's not nearly as strong as our other weapons. Wait. It has a higher armor penetration than our damn spear. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's take a look at feats. We need to learn how to make better tools. Repair kits. Iron tools it requires. Where do I get the iron tools? Right there. Unlock that shit. Ooh, we can make blacksmith furnace. Uh, tannery. Hell, we can become a carpenter. And we can make so much better shit. Improved campfire. Well, yeah. Peasant. Farmer. Agriculturist. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't go that... Well, I could go that route. I'm just not too worried about it. Uh, let's see. So we can already make one wheel of pain. I'm sorry, there's fishing in this game? That's new. Alright. Let's learn how to make a damn torch. And an improved campfire. Yep, there's a storm coming. All right, so what we need to do is we need to build a furnace to smelt metal before we can make tools. But we need a box as well to store shit in. Okay, we have a goal. Box, then furnace. Gas tree over here. Just need a hundred wood. 
I mean, I'll take vines. I don't know what to do with them yet, but... I wonder if it's also one of those deals in addition to the trees being too small. Since I did get some vines. Oh, son of a bitch. There's another one of those scaly assholes over there. Okay, we have enough wood to make a box. We'll start the dude crafting that right now. I need more of this shit. The crocodile be damned. I wonder if I should get away from the river, just for harvesting purposes. Like maybe there's shit up here. Yeah, tribes of people who will want to kill me. I harvest the big fucking trees? I really doubt it. Oh, fucking jackals. I need to repair my shield is what I need to do. Okay, what does it take to make a furnace? 500... Oh, God damn! Pretty sure I can't harvest this big motherfucker. Yeah, nah. He laughs at me. Alright. Stone is what we need. Oh, and apparently water. I was just in the water. Yeah, we're definitely going to need the box to store a bunch of stone, because there's no way in hell this dude's going to be able to walk around with 540 stone in his inventory. take the long way around so I don't want to fight a crocodile right now. I'm going to get some water. Then we're going to go up there. We're going to place the box. We're going to put our shit in the box. And then we're going to get more stone. Might as well get this on the way back, as long as it doesn't over-encumber me. Alright. Man, our dude ain't got shit for stamina. Okay. And I could finish the house before I build that. But I feel like the furnace is a better first step. So let's see, we built the box. Let's grab that, throw this here, get rid of this. Put the box in this corner. I like how the dude likes to, fl like every time he busts out his weapon, he does this little flourish. Uh, coal, I don't even need to keep it on me. I can keep it in the fire. It doesn't use it, it just sits there. Uh, let's also throw our iron in here. I'm going to keep the twine. I'll throw the hyena pelt in here. Arrow is kind of useless to me right now. I don't have a bow. 
the hell is this? Magenta dye. Yeah, no, I don't have anything to dye. I guess I should eat the rest of those arms. That is really a fucked up thing to find yourself saying. <laughs> okay. Much less encumbered. What? Which, which one of these? Oh, it's probably the wood that's giving us the most encumbrance and the foundations. You know, I can actually use the foundations real quick. So I actually do wonder. Don't jump out, dude. What the hell? Huh. <laughs> I like that. Okay. That did not work how I hoped. <laughs> this is how we come home. Yeah, who needs the front door? Alright. You guys up there, do not mind me. I just need some more of your rocks. Alright. Almost there. Son of a bitch. Give me my pick back, damn it. Yes. There we go. That definitely looks like a sandstorm. Shit. I don't know if I'll die out in the open, but I'll certainly get turned around. Holy shit. Huh. Well. <laughs> we could go home. And maybe... Get some shelter. You know kind of seems like the thing to do at this point. Huh. I'll be damned. Let's see, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh yeah, I'm taking some health damage. Can't be killing me in my own damn house. Oh, but it's certainly doing exactly that. Well. Apparently this is not a, um, secure location. Well, I tried. I think I need a roof. I mean, I'm going to respawn at the bedroll and then die again almost instantly. I was killed by myself. The hell I was? <laughs> Are we just going to die repeatedly until the um, sandstorm is passed? Is that, is that what I have to look forward to do? Look forward to? Yep, even the weather spawn camping. Ain't that a bitch? Oh, we are slightly sheltered now, apparently.
Walls, damn it, walls. And then roofing. Man, that is brutal. I mean, too little too late at this point, sure, but <laughs> I need to get these in place. Damn. I knew they were dangerous. Well, I didn't know that they would kill me. I'll be honest. I kind of thought they... I kind of thought they just made you get lost. Because I've never died in one in the... You know, in the early access. Jesus. That was horrible. Am I just missing the roofing tile? Where the fuck it go? There it is. Okay, we need more wood. Let's put that there. Put this here. Wear all this crap. The axe. Uh, another spear. I mean, at least we died in our home. Yeah, so our loot was easy to get back. I think we're in a position where we don't have to eat ourselves anymore. Alright, let's find some trees. We've essentially deforested that area down there. Sure, eat the bugs. I mean, we need both wood and stone, so I might as well collect it both while we're out here. Because, yeah, after seeing that unfortunate event, I really, 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 really need to put in a... I really need to put in a roof. And that motherfucker needs to stay over there. I mean, he's got a bow. He's got a nice bow. I want his bow. But I think he'd murder me. I mean, they're starting to advance up the tech tree, and I'm still over here back at, like, fucking, you know, prehistoric times. Nonsense. Have you done this better, Bob? No, apparently I do not. I mean, this motherfucker is like trash talking me and shit. Nope, fuck you. Fuck you. You will never return to your den. Well, my den's not very far, actually. you like that, asshole? Nah. Nope. None of that. He just crippled me. Come on, get away from your buddy over there. No. I'm gonna laugh if he can hit me from over here. Son of a bitch. Wait till I have iron. You asshole. What was 
was that? I heard a fucking snake right behind me. Come on, dude. He fucking healed already. Screw it. Ah. <laughs> Damn. Nah, 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 dude. He's still chasing me? God damn. Okay. Fucking hell. He is a lot stronger than I am. Yeah, they do a lot more damage. I don't know if they do enough damage to kill him before, you know, before I get dropped. Ah, there's my cooked flesh. Alright. We probably have enough to finish our roof now. So we'll craft nine of these bastards. Put on the roof. Yeah, we don't have enough to finish our roof. But we have enough to be a lot more sheltered than we were. Come on. There we go. One more. I mean, we need a lot more than one. I'm just saying that's... All we're crafting at the moment. Rocks. We need more rocks. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, he's not that dude with the bow. Wasn't strong enough. Did this just spawn right on me? The resources spawn camp too, apparently. I, mean, I really don't need iron, but I mean, it's here. Ah, tree. We need this too. Come on. Excellent. The fuck did you come from, dude? Dude's just wandering through here. And that damn crocodile didn't even look at him. The hell kind of... These sons of bitches... Apparently the wildlife just likes to kill me. I should have had some water while I was down there. And now he's between me and the water. Motherfucker. You should not even be here, dude. Jesus Christ. How, how many arrows this asshole sticking in me? Ooh. 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 
terror, fool. I don't know about that now. Oh, shit. We have a problem. We have a big problem. <laughs> Very big problem. Nope. Fuck you. You are gonna leave me the fuck alone, dude. Nope. Man, you even shoot me shit into my house. Go away. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Maybe just maybe we repair our shield. A bunch of roofing tiles, right? Damn. The shit in this area. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Just one more? One more and the house is done. Means now all we need to do is we need to collect the stone to make the fucking furnace so we can start making better stuff. Alright, so we're basically stripping here for a minute. So we can repair all of our fucking gear. And I really need some damn water. Ah. This was not quite the... I mean, we got plenty of resources here, but it's not quite the... Um, paradise we were hoping it was. God damn it. Yep, it looks like another storm's incoming. <laughs> and I just about broke my fucking legs. Drink water. Get home before the storm hits. Yep, it's another sandstorm. Not as bad, it doesn't look like. I don't know. Uh, let's check. I think I need... That's why I need the um, Tanner's Bench. Because, yeah, if we look down the list of armor, we need Iron Bar Leather, which I don't have, and I know I make that at the Tanner's Rack. And the medium boot lining I make at the armorer's bench, which I don't have. I just have the furnace so far. Oh, I do have the armorer's bench. Okay. So we have quite a lot of material we need to collect before we can do all that. Because I need a blacksmith's bench. I need an armorer's bench. And these are not small items. But yeah, once I have it, I'm pretty sure I can use hide... Yeah, I can make, um, I can turn hide into leather. Ah, uh, there's another item here. Where are my shoes? There they are. Kind of wish we had healing potions. Well, if it is a storm, it's taking its sweet-ass time getting here.
maybe that's the deal. Maybe you get that build-up noise for the first while, and then when it hits, then, mm -hmm. like, yeah, because I'm not seeing much. Maybe we're, maybe it takes a while to reach us. But yeah, I need to start collecting the stone. Now, the main reason I'm going with the 540 stone to make the uh, blacksmith thing first, the furnace, is so I can actually... That motherfucker is still lingering here. I think he might just be camping here. That asshole. So yeah, I can use the iron to make better armor. I can use it to make better tools, because the better tools you have, the more you get from each resource deposit. At least that's how it used to work. Let's go. Getting closer. I'm gonna keep eating the shredded roast while I'm mining so I can keep my health regenerating. I mean, at least we have good shelter nearby, too, so... It's thinking I'm not hitting stone all of a sudden. It's right here. I feel like it's a mistake to keep mining over here right now. Just because I wouldn't even be able to see a damn crocodile coming up on me. Now with the charcoal... Not charcoal. Coal we have... And the iron stone, we should be able to make a f at least a stone pick. Stone. Iron pick. Dude, hit the iron, hit the stone deposit. Jesus. Okay, that is part of the bridge holding up my shit. can't really hold anymore, so I can hold a bit more. Maybe, just maybe. Nah. Not gonna be able to get 540 before I'm full here. I swear to God if a crocodile's coming up on me. Okay. I like that the light in our house is coming from our corpses. It's actually kind of depressing. <laughs> but yeah, put this shit in here so I don't have to come track it down again. Alright. I have a bunch of stone deposits just right down here on the actual walkway. Oh, you motherfucker. Of course you did. Uh-uh. Okay, not doing so hot. Wow. 
Okay, fuck you. Oh, why did you have to close? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. pretty hard. Be gone, beast. I feel like this shouldn't work this way. Damn, we hit him hard there. not come in. He can. <laughs> that was an interesting... Oh, okay. We'll harvest his corpse in the house. Interesting. Stone. Back to the stone. Ah. That was a fair amount of trees over here. <laughs> You know, somewhere in Florida, there has to be someone. I have to believe that there had to be someone who tried to chase a damn crocodile off their lawn just with a spear or a stick or a broom or something. Just, I just have that image in my head now. And it, you know, I have to believe it's happened now. have enough stone, but just to be sure, I'm going to take out another deposit or two. Don't mind me, dude. So I think we got it. I know I'm encumbered. I'm about to craft all this shit into something, though. The hell? Crocodile head. Hell yeah. Better believe I'm going to mount that over the door. All right. Furnace. Craft that bitch. And while you're crafting that, I have more meat to throw in here. Cook. Furnace is done. We are still over in well, I guess. You know, make ourselves at home. Because what I'm thinking about doing next is I can build spiked fences, I believe. Where are they? 
I guess I haven't learned them yet. They're over here. Hmm. Ooh, insulated wooden wall. Pretty sure we're going to need that in the snowy area. Not religion. Search. Where are they? There they are. Spiked fences. Which I now know how to make. It does not take a lot to make them. So I'm thinking to build spike fences across here, across here, and yes, across here, as a big fuck you to those guys. <laughs> and basically make this my little crafting area. Seriously? Oh, mother... Get, get your ass back here. Yeah, no, I ain't catching him. Fuck, where the hell did he go? Alright. Let's go load some coal and some iron into our furnace. Iron, please. And I can always get more coal for the fire, so not too worried about that. Fuck, you mean the item can't be moved? All right. Iron, coal, begin. Now, to make weapons, better weapons, or better tools, I should say, pretty sure I can't just make them like this. It's one of those deals where I actually have to click on the other thing. I should also make an altar to my god, huh? Okay, so how do we build... Like, what do we need to build a... Wooden fence. No, I don't need a wooden fence. See the shit living around here? I need more than a wooden fence. Where's the blacksmith's bench? Arm there it is. I need 50 bri bricks. Do I have to put those in? Oh man. Okay, I need 500 stone to make 50 bricks. Son of a bitch. Well, we're going to be farming for a while. <laughs> Thankfully, we got what we need in this area. So it might be time to make some defenses, too. But I just noticed I've gotten a little carried away with this stream as we are nearing the three and a half hour mark. So... I actually need to call it a night, so thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I've been enjoying this game, and some of the twisted, twisted conversations that we have been having. And like I said, I will be streaming this for a while, if any of you guys want to join in. And I will also be putting this on YouTube later tonight, so just um yeah it'll be there if you're interested in watching more or just catching up on what you may have missed and yeah i'll be streaming this i'll be streaming this alt i don't know if i'll be alternating but i'll be streaming this and uh the total war warhammer series that we've been doing so yeah not a problem hollow thank you for dropping by and with that everybody have a good night and i will see you during the next stream